and welcome to my chan uh, channel. So today, pag-aaralan po natin guys ang paano ba gagamitin yung in, on, and at. Ano po yung tawag dito sa in, on, and at? Tinatawag po yun guys na preposition. At alam po natin na we have a lot of preposition that we are using. Uh, like for example, behind, above. But ang hinahanap po natin or ginagamit natin palagi guys ay yung in, on, and at. But some of you may be medyo nalito. And the topic for today is, ito po pwede po ito para po sa civil service exam. So this is our review. And uh, the, how are we going to use the in, on, and at preposition of time? Pwede rin natin gagamitin yun, yung in, on, and at sa place. Paano natin gagamitin? But we will be discussing that on the next teaching. So, uh, if kapag bago lang po kayo guys sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell para po updated kayo sa lahat ng mga videos tutorial ko. So, if you are ready guys and if you are interested, please keep watching until the end of this video. Okay, I have here preposition of time. Paano ba natin gagamitin ang in sa time? Paano natin gagamitin ang at sa time? At paano po natin gagamitin ang on sa time? So I have here on the board, when we are talking about at, it denotes specific time. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabing specific, may exact oras talaga. Okay, so gamitin natin ito guys, it denotes specific time. Like for example, the bus will arrive at 3.15. Sabi kanina dito, to denote specific time. And we are talking about here, 3.15 p.m. or 3.15 in the afternoon. Meron po siyang exact time. So, gumamit tayo ng preposition na at. Another one that denotes specific time, the class ends at 4.50 p.m. So, gumamit po tayo ng at, ito po ang tinatawag natin na specific time. May umaga, may hapon. Okay? So, ito po yung paggamit ng at when we are talking about sa time. Paano naman po gagamitin ang on pagdating sa time? Okay. On designate days and dates. Ano po yung days? So, we know that there are seven days in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, pwede niyo po yung gagamitin if we are using that in a sentence kapag on and it denotes some um, day, then gamit po tayo ng on. So, like for example, my sister is coming on Friday. Ito po yung designate ng days. Ito po yung preposition natin na on. And then, for example number two, my friends will be having a party on the 5th of December. Ano po yung uh, 5th of December? Ito naman po ang nag-designate ng dates. Okay, so dates po natin, um, December 1, December 2, and so on. So, meron po tayong month, meron po tayong doon na kung anong uh, araw, kung anong um, number. So, ito po gamitin natin. My friends will be having a party on the 5th of December. Or pwede rin gumamit ka on December 5. Ano po yung kaibahan ng December 5 at saka 5th of December? Here in the Philippines, we are used to, um, ginagamit po natin na, I will be, for example, my sisters will be having a party on December 5. But in the other countries, they are using 5th of December. Na una po yung, yung uh, day, okay, kesa sa month. So, uh, 5th or 4th of December like that. So, yun po yung paggamit guys ng on. Okay, paano naman po gagamitin ang in sa preposition of time? In meaning for non-specific time. Ibig sabihin, non, wala po siyang exact talaga kung anong araw. Kung anong date, okay, basta month na po yun, ha? Uh, during a day, okay, ito po yung day, a month, a season, or a year, okay? So, but when we are talking about, guys, a day, sabihin, you can use Monday until Sunday. So, I have here on the board an example, Sachi like 
to jog in the morning. Day, Monday, morning, and afternoon. So, yun po yung tinatawag natin non-specific, non-specific time during a day kung umaga ba yan or kung hapon man yan or sa gabi man yan. Okay, when you're talking about a month, okay, a month, wala siyang exact na the day, month lang. So, like for example, he's going to quit in December. So, gumamit tayo ng in December, ang tawag doon na is a month. Wala siyang specific eh. Wala siyang exact uh, day kung ano po yan. December 5 ba yun? O December 6 and or so on. Basta month of December dyan. And then, when we're talking about a season, ano po yung mga season dito sa Pilipinas? Diba? Rainy day, sunny day. In uh, the other countries, we have winter. Diba? Mga spring, like that. So, ito po gagamitin natin. It's too cold in winter to run outside. So, yun po yung paggamit, guys, na uh, gamit ng in, ng on, and out. And I will be giving you an example. A year. So, an example of that in a year is, uh, paano natin gagamitin ang year? She started a job in 2010. So, year, 2001, 2002, and so on. So, yun po yung paggamit, guys, ng in, on, and at. Okay, so like for example, paano po natin gagamitin ang evening at saka night? Ano po yung correct preposition dyan? When we are talking about the evening, gagamit tayo ng in. In the evening. But, pag, when we are talking about night, you cannot say in the night. That is at night time. So, yan po ang paggamit ng in, on, and at. So, uh, in the next teaching, guys, I will be teaching you how are we going to use the preposition of place gamit ang in, on, and at. So, I hope you learned something today and have a great day, everyone.